This is fourth grade Go Math, mid chapter review, part two. Anna has 296 coins in her coin collection. She put the same number of coins in each of seven jars. About how many coins did she put in each jar? So if we're going to do this problem, we know that we are going to estimate. So we have 296 divided by 7 is our expression that we're going to solve for. And we can use um, multiples would be a good strategy to do this. If I count by 7s, I have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. So my, I know my answer is going to be, be between these two um, multiples here. So I'm going to go with um, underestimating 280 because this is 29 hundreds. 280 divided by 7 is about 40. So there's my estimate. I could have gone with 350 divided by 7, which would be about 50, but either way. Which two estimates is the quotient 345 divided by 8 between? So this time we actually are listed, looking for two. So we have 345 divided by 8, and we're looking for which two is it between. If I count by 8s using the multiples strategy, 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40. So here are the two we're going to use. So we're going to say 320 divided by 8 and 400 divided by 8. And that would give us our, our estimates. So 32 tens divided by 8 is 40 tens. 40 tens divided by 8 is 50. Not 50, 40 tens. 40 or 4 tens and 5 tens, which is 50. So there's our estimate. The next one's a going deeper problem, so we're going to solve it. A total of 8,644 people went to the football game. Of those, 5,100 sat on the home side. The rest, so that looks like we're going to be subtracting, sat on the visitor side. If the people sitting on the visitor side filled eight equal size section, that's our division cue right there, about our estimation cue, how many people sat in each section? So to solve this problem, we're going to be subtracting. And if we wrote this as a complete expression, we would say 8,644, subtract 5,100, put that in parentheses because that's what we want to do first, divided by 8 would give us our answer. Alrighty, so let's get started with that one. So 8,644 minus 5,100, pretty easy to compute, 4 minus 0 is 4, 4 minus 0 is 4, 6 minus 1 is 5, and 8 minus 5 is 3. So we have 3,544 divided by 8. Now we could solve that, but we have about, as our, um, our, our tells us that we need to estimate. So when we're estimating, we're looking for our compatible numbers or our multiples, and we have used the multiples of 8 up here. So when we look at 35, 35 is between 32 and 40, so we can change this to 3,200 divided by 8, and our basic fact is 32 divided by 8, which is 4, and x are zeros because that's 32 hundredths, or we could say 4,000 divided by 8, and 40 hundredths divided by 8 would be 500. There's your estimates for that one. The next one, there are four students on a team for a relay race. How many teams can be made from 27 students? So we're looking at 27 divided by 4. And if you know your basic facts, you know that 4 times um, 7 is 28. And 4 times 6 is 24. So those are the two we're looking for. Um, but it doesn't tell us to estimate. We're actually looking for a correct answer. When we look at that problem, 4 times 20, 4 divided by 20, 4 divided into 27, we have 6 remainder of 3. But let's look at the context of the problem. How many teams can be made from 27 student, students? So we're going to explain our answer. Um, you can make 
six whole teams and put one team with three people, right? Or you could say you can make six whole teams and add those three people to one of the teams. But we can't just throw people away. So we have to under, we have to understand what the question is asking us and interpret the remainder. So the next problem, eight teams of high school students help clean up trash in the community. Afterwards, they share 23 pizzas equally. Eight teams, 23 pizzas equally. How many pizzas did each team get? So we're going to also have to interpret the remainder here. 23 divided by 8. Nice of them to use 8s again. So if we look at that, we see 24 is our closest. So it's going to be between 16 and 24. So 8 times 2 or 8 times 3. Well, our dividend is 23. So we're going to have to go with the 2 there. And we would have a remainder of 7. Well, what are we going to do with those 7 pieces? Are we just going to keep them to the side? No, we're going to have to interpret that remainder. Now, the actual standard for fourth grade does not require students to write this as a fraction, which would be we have seven out of eight that we needed. So we'd have two and seven eighths. Um, but you can explain that in your writing. So each team would get two, oops, let me just write the number, two whole pizzas. and seven eighths of another pizza. Now, that extends that standard for fourth graders in Tennessee, or you could have said um, each team would get two whole pizzas and they would share the seven pizzas um, that are left equally, and you could, you could look at that, but this goes beyond the standard for fourth grade, so just, just know that if you're, if you're solving that. Um, that that is beyond the standard for Tennessee in fourth grade. So that's your chapter review or your mid chapter review for division. I hope you did a great job and check all your work. Good luck.